Nicola Sturgeon and her Welsh counterpart have asked EU leaders for a lengthy delay to Brexit after Boris Johnson's grudging request on Saturday. In a joint letter to EU Council President Donald Tusk, the two first ministers backed a delay long enough to hold a second EU referendum, meaning well into mid-2020. Miss Sturgeon and Labour's Mark Drakeford also wrote to Mr Johnson saying the devolved parliaments needed more time to consider the legislation associated with his deal. They urged him to delay Brexit so that Westminster, Edinburgh and Cardiff could carry out their proper constitutional and democratic functions of scrutinising his plans. And they warned there was insufficient opportunity to undertake this essential scrutiny before the Prime Minister's do-or-die deadline of October 31st. Miss Sturgeon is also seeking an emergency recall of Holyrood from its October recess this week so that MSPs can discuss Mr Johnson's Brexit plan on Thursday. MPs voted on Saturday to delay a decision on Mr Johnson's deal until the Commons and Lords had passed the Withdrawal Agreement Bill, WAB, needed to put it into effect. This triggered the Benn Act which forced the PM to request a delay until at least January 31, albeit a minimal one he didn't sign. He also sent a second letter repeating his objections to a delay. As the web will be vulnerable to scores of amendments and delays, it will be very difficult for the PM to get through Westminster by Halloween unless he rams it through. Although Downing Street has warned the EU might refuse an extension if MPs do not fall in line, a senior German minister today said he fully expected a delay to be granted. In their letter to Mr Johnson, Ms Sturgeon and Mr Drakeford urged the PM to, to comply fully and in good faith with the Benn Act and ensure a delay took place to avoid no deal. They wrote, this bill will be among the most important piece of legislation ever considered by the UK Parliament, the Scottish Parliament and National Assembly for Wales with far-reaching implications for the whole of the United Kingdom and our future well-being. We've also written to it UK President informing him of the requirement on UK good to secure the consent of the Welsh and Scottish legislatures, and expressing our support for an extension long enough to enable a referendum to be held with an option to remain in the EU on the ballot. Pick.twitter.com slash DDFQE95 PC Mark Drakeford, Adfmals, October 21, 2019 Both our governments believe the deal you have negotiated with the EU will be even more damaging to Wales, Scotland and the United Kingdom than the previous unacceptable agreement made by your predecessor. We therefore wish to state in the clearest possible terms that we and our legislatures need time to analyse and consider the draft bill. We shall for more on this story, visit the news article link.